hey guys you're welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how i made this delicious tasty pizza okay now we're going to have to sift your flour very important and then we're going to proof our yeast i am using the dry active yeast you need to prove it with warm water and sugar and set aside for 15 minutes After 15 minutes, you can see the yeast has dissolved. Now this is dry active yeast. If you have the instant yeast, you don't need to mix it with warm water and sugar. So I just added it to my flour, I added salt and also olive oil. I am going to mix everything together first with my spatula before using my hands later on as you will see soon. So make sure you combine, combine just to make sure that everything is well mixed together after mixing for about five to seven minutes you are going to set it aside you can cover with a film or a damp clean cloth which is what i used cover for 15 minutes okay and then set aside After 15 minutes, your dough becomes super stretchy because you have activated the gluten in it. Okay, so you are going to work your dough now. Um, I had to put some flour on it, just a little. And also on my work area, I had to transfer it out of the bowl for me to knead it. Now you have to knead for about 7 to 10 minutes to further activate the gluten in it. Okay, so make sure you knead your dough. It's very important you knead your dough when it comes to the pizza dough now i'm going to put some olive oil like you just seen and i'm going to rub it on the dough you know and then cover it i kept mine in the fridge so while the dough sits pretty in the fridge these are my ingredients for the toppings full list of ingredients should be displayed in the description box below now i am getting my grill ready i am going to grill the chicken the sausage and the ground beef so that i can use it for my toppings i grilled the chicken for eight minutes already i had preheated the grill for five minutes now i'm cutting my um, onions and bell peppers in strips while i am busy cutting my onions and bell peppers please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and also please like the video you encourage me and you let me know that oh you like this particular video and i'll do more of it thank you so much if you are new here thanks for joining please subscribe as well and like my video give me a thumbs up okay now we are back to the meatballs I made it like a meatball fashion it wasn't really meatballs I didn't want it to be so little you know I like chewing stuff and that's why you see my chicken chunks are quite sizable also my sausages and so I'm getting it ready for the pizza now while I was doing this I was also preheating my oven at 450 degree um, for about seven minutes all our toppings are set now after 90 minutes this is how your dough would look like you can see it has increased in size and now i am about to work it on the pan you're going to stretch it it's going to say no don't stretch me but you say get over here <laughs> get over here for those of us who you know played um street fighter and Mortal Kombat I'm sure you know what I mean so that is corn flour I'm putting at the bottom of the pan to give it this extra crust okay and then just sprinkle it around put your dough and then start to stretch out from the tips okay just you can see how I'm stretching it just keep stretching it and it will come it could be stubborn sometimes but it will move as you would see shortly 
The first thing you add is your tomato base. You can make yours at home yourself. Use some tomatoes and some red bell peppers. But I use the store-bought pizza base. Okay, so this is the pizza base. I'm going to put it all over the pizza. Apart from the extreme edges, you have to leave that bare. And then I'm going to add my cheese and then my vegetables. And lastly, the meat and some extra cheese. If you want your pizza to be very cheesy, by all means necessary, you need to add extra. I mean extra, extra, extra cheese, okay? Like guys, the joy of making this pizza from my kitchen. Oh, I'm so excited <laughs> because pizza here is quite pricey unlike back home. However, as a foodie, I love trying different recipes here and there. So if you are like me, try and whip this up for yourself for your family your kids your husband they are going to love it i read somewhere that um the sense of smell is linked to memory and i and that's true because sometimes i perceive certain foods i'm like oh i remember having this food here i remember having this food there and i remember growing up as a child some of my fun times were at the dining table while we were eating or maybe after we're done eating, my father would come and make this joke and we would all laugh with all gist. I and my siblings at the dining area we would all talk about food. I remember the quarrel about food. The food is too small for this person. This food is too much for this person. <laughs> I remember washing so many plates. Okay, so food has um a way of bringing people together even family okay so please make this for your family i am now putting this in the preheated oven i left this for 12 minutes at nine minutes i would show you how it looked like yes this is how it looked like at nine minutes and this is it at 12 minutes so i brought it out to put some olive oil around the edges so that it could be browner you can see me i'll be putting it soon that's it so just a teaspoon or two around the edges of it and i'm going to put it back for another two minutes for it to brown check out this beauty guys it is ready so immediately it comes out from the oven make sure you slice it with a pizza slicer or a knife while it is still very hot thank you for watching guys i really do appreciate please subscribe like my video see you in the next one bye now